One of the largest wine producers in the country filed for bankruptcy this week. Santa Rosa-based Vintage Wine Estates includes well-known brands uh, such as Layer Cake, Fianza, and Windsor. ABC 7 News reporter Luz Pena went to wine country to talk to experts about what this means for the industry. The news of vintage wine estates filing for bankruptcy sending shockwaves throughout the industry. Just execution of the IPO, they, I think it was rushed a little bit. The Santa Rosa based company went public in 2020. Under it, over 30 wine and spirit brands. Most of their products in the 15 to $20 range. To understand what might have gone wrong, we spoke to Rob McMillan, one of the top wine business analysts in the country. The industry is certainly flat on sales. The, the fine wine industry is doing a little better. The lower priced wine that's certainly struggling. Macmillan believes a generation shift is also impacting sales. The younger generation is, is not drinking wine like the older generation. In a statement, Vintage Wine Estates said they're pursuing the sale of all or substantially all of the company's assets and added in part. VWE expects commercial operations to continue, largely business as usual, and we look forward to serving our customers during this period of transition. According to multiple experts, the wine industry is facing a global crisis. Winemaker Patrick Capiello is seeing it. Traditionally, this time of year, I would do almost twice the amount of wine that, that, that's, that's producing yours. He believes the pandemic, a younger generation discovering wine later in life, and the boomer generation might be playing a role. You know, people that have been the main driver behind wine consumption, and they are starting to pull back, whether it's because they have enough wine in their cellar or because of health reasons. Sonoma County Supervisor Susan Gorin is concerned about what the bankruptcy of VWE will mean for many here. The Arcone and Kunde Winery especially are so important to the economy of Sonoma Valley and Sonoma County. So it's distressing to me. Despite all this, no one here is losing hope. I think there are brighter times coming. In Sonoma County, Luz Pena, ABC 7 News.